welcome or welcome back to the MB Makes knitting channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the maker behind MB Makes. You can find me here on YouTube as well as on Instagram and Ravelry as MB Makes. Today I have a very special video for you. I've been uh, filming some little clips throughout my week uh, of my knitting and today I'm planning a bit of a, a bigger crafty day as I have the week off for my birthday tomorrow and I wanted to take you along with me and show you um, what I'm making and yeah there will maybe be some uh, plant care to do as well today and some self-care um, I want to paint my nails in this green color I just uh, bought yesterday because I'm really into greens um, at the moment in my knitting and in just general um, yeah really love the color green in a lot of different shades um, so I hope you enjoy this kind of video um, not sure how I'm going to edit everything yet um, but I will figure that out and I think I will have succeeded if you're watching this. So yeah, let's get going. Hi, so I'm back here and I just finished doing my nails in this green. And yeah, I really love the color. Um, I was watching the new episode of Caroline's Knits podcast. Uh, while I was painting my nails and letting them dry um, but now I will quickly run some errands and have lunch and when I'm back I will um, do some knitting I think and then some sewing um, because I really want to make some new pillowcases for uh, the pillow I have uh, in on the sofa um, in my living room so yeah I'll get back to you later It's a few hours later now and I wanted to have a look at um, some of my fabrics I have to uh, make a pillowcase and yeah so I have these uh, long shaped pillows from Ikea and although they are lovely they have a pattern on it um, I do like to have a cover on that uh, that I can wash um, so I'm thinking something floral, um, still light, maybe this one I like, or a bright pink might be lovely. I think I've, yeah, I have more than one pillow, so I might make a few, um, these are more like some basic fabrics with stars and dots and flowers. Um, let's see, these have this color as well. So 
So these are more my smaller, well, not really scraps. I can make some good projects out of these, but they are not big enough to make um, the pillowcases that I want. Oh, this is a fun fabric. This is already really old, but it's still very lovely. Um, but not enough to make the pillowcase. But I do have some at the bottom. But that might work. These are all fabrics that I accumulated over the years. And I mostly, these are, I think, all cotton fabrics with a print on. And I like to use these for like some zipper bags. Like this one. I really like making these. These make great gifts as well. And I just use them all the time for everything. Um, so yeah, I think I have a nice selection of some floral fabrics and some more geometric geographic yeah okay so um this is the pillow i was talking about and it's just a simple pillow from ikea and i've made a cover for it um without a zip just simple um, basic cover and yeah, I want to make another one so I can switch it out from time to time. This is the pillow itself. Um, it's actually quite nice, but yeah, if I spill something on this, I can't wash it or something. Uh, this I can just throw in the wash. And... It's just a big rectangle and I think I will just use this as a template for my other one, but make sure I have some extra um, seam space. And yeah, this is the inside. Let's get started. So I've just measured this and this is uh, 65 by 30 centimeters. Um, and I will make one out of this fabric first. And yeah, it's really simple. You just need um, two squares that are that size. Well, one that's uh, the 65 by 30 with um, one centimeter seam allowance all around and then the other one I want to make uh, the same uh, width but a bit longer so that I can use that uh, bit that's a bit longer to tuck in uh, on this side to keep the pillow in place without having to add a zip or something okay so I have now cut up two different fabrics the purple one with the flowers and then the blue one with the teardrops and for this one i will uh, sew this down to have a neater edge because this will be on the outside of the pillow um, but for the other side i won't do it because it will be hidden in the inside um, so you won't, won't see it and it's the, the edge of the fabric itself so it won't um, yeah unravel um, and for the other fabric uh, I don't need to do any of that because it has a neat edge uh, from the side of the fabric itself so this won't unravel uh, the inside uh, won't either um, so I will just uh, stitch all around with a one centimeter seam allowance and ju I just fold these with the uh, good sides Oh, that's not correct. Um, this needs to be the other side. 
always good to check <laughs> again if you before you sew everything. So with the good sides together and then I will put this down and I will sew uh, all around except for on this side. Uh, so I will sew in a U shape and so that way I can later put the pillow in uh, and this will be sewn down as well um, as I did for uh, this pillowcase so it will yeah it won't show the pillow it will stay nice and put so yeah I will now get my machine ready so I have now just sewn down really simple this edge with a straight stitch and now I can lay this uh, as this will be the inside. So with the nice sides together. So I'm just keeping the same stitch. Um, or maybe I will just slightly change it. We will have a straight stitch that also does a zigzag. I don't know what it's called in English. Um, and I'm not sure it's a more zigzag. So all the sides are uh, sewn and now all that's left is to turn it right side out. And pop out the corners. And yeah, there you have it. Simple pillowcase. I will now do the same for the other one. Um, and then I'm done for uh, today with sewing, I think. It's uh, the next day. I um, yeah stopped filming yesterday after I was done uh, with sewing, but I can show you here uh, the pillow. It's a bit too long, so I might um, make it a bit shorter. Um, but widthwise, it's it's really nice. And yeah, I will keep it here in my chair. And the other one um, fits a bit better and I have that one uh, downstairs on the sofa. And I have today finished um, the sewn bind off on my second sleeve. Uh, this is my Maria cardigan test knit um, by Ginger and Time. And I'm really close to finishing. I just need a few more centimeters in stockinette for the body and then I can do a few centimeters of ribbing, uh, twisted ribbing to match uh, with the sleeves here and then I just need to add uh, the double knit button band um, for the buttons and I can show you them here 
these are the buttons I will be using. I think the size is nice and the color goes well with this green cardigan. Um, gives it maybe a bit of a store-bought look, um, but I like that. Um, so yeah, that's my cardigan. I hope I can finish it maybe tomorrow um, for my birthday dinner with my family. Um, or else maybe on Sunday um, so that I can start wearing it next week for work. Also, um, I just changed into my Chunky Dahlia uh, sweater. Uh, really love this. Uh, this is my most recent finished sweater. Um, and it's quite nice for this kind of weather. It's not too warm. Um, it's quite light um, and it's great with just a t-shirt underneath. Um, but yeah, uh, talking about ginger and thyme, I ordered myself some uh, new uh, needle stoppers and a row counter and some yarn as a treat for myself uh, for my birthday. And yeah, I wanted to really uh, quickly show them to you. So these are some needle stoppers. You just pop them on your needles. They have uh, holes on the bottom. And they were great. I already using some on the cardigan. Uh, here to stop the stitches from sliding over the needles I'm using for the body. And they really stick onto the needles uh, nicely. I'm using wooden needles um, from Knit Pro. Um, so yeah, I bought the same ones I have, these tulips in a light blue color and then some nice um, flowers and another uh, row counter as well. I have one that I have been using for the cardigan as well as for the uh, crescendo blouse by the knit pearl girl to um, the account to rows on my uh, lace work chart and i'm also using that for the decreases on the sleeves to make it easier for me to count how many rows um, and yeah after just trying one i i knew i wanted to order another one because i always have multiple projects on the go and they're just so so useful uh, so yeah, definitely go check that out uh, on our web shop. Um, when you only order stitch markers and row counters, um, they send um, by uh, post mail. So uh, you don't have to pay as much shipping as when you order a larger package like with wool. Um, so yeah, and I also ordered some yarn. Uh, I've been using the Colorful Baby Brush by Gabo Wool for uh, my cardigan. And when I was at the Crea Fair a few weeks ago, I saw the other colors in real life. And when I saw this green color, I knew I wanted to have it um, for some other project. Um, I'm thinking maybe some kind of blousy um, sweater. Um, with puffy sleeves or something. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know a specific pattern yet. Uh, but I really love this color. It's really spring uh, color that you see everywhere right now. And yeah, I've always loved this kind of color. So yeah, that's what I got as a treat for my birthday. everyone today is Saturday and I quickly wanted to show you some of my um, socks 
Um, these are the socks I have just finished yesterday morning and I was wearing them yesterday so I couldn't show them. Um, but yeah, these are the um, broken rib socks. Uh, it's a free pattern on Ravelry and I started them I think end of February. Um, and I had finished one sock but uh, still needed to do the second one. And yeah, I grafted the toe yesterday morning and woven in my ends. These aren't blocked yet, uh, but I just wanted to wear them yesterday. So I did. And yeah, it's a lovely hand dyed yarn by uh, Ladybug Yarns. And the contrast is just some Vulcana Arveta. Uh, which I think goes really well with the hand dyed yarn. So these are my most finished uh, most recently finished socks and now I'm working on a sock test knit um, for Teresa Run It um, and it's the rainy day socks um, today is not a rainy day it's really sunny but I do think uh, yeah, these socks are really nice so it has some uh, yeah, it's some kind of rib pattern, but with some simple cables uh, added to it to give it some more interest. And yeah, I'm using some hand dyed yarn and the ball band is inside. Uh, it's um, La Bien Aimée yarn. Uh, this is yarn my boyfriend got me um, at the end of last year from London. And yeah, I think this is the perfect pattern for it. Uh, it's quite uh, grey looking. Um, but then with some pops of colours, there's some orange and some pink and some green. Um, which I think is really lovely. Uh, so yeah, I'm slowly working away on these. I think they need to be finished uh, in two weeks. But you only have to finish um, one sock, so I think that will be, um, yeah, I will uh, be able to do that. Um, I just need to knit a bit more on the leg and then I can do the heel flap and then the foot with the gusset and the toe. Um, these knit up quite fast, I think, um, using 2.5 millimeter needles. Um, so yeah, another new lovely uh, sock. I like to switch between um, some textured socks and some color work socks. Um, the color work socks I'm working on currently are the lovely Anna socks by uh, Penrose Knits. Um, I can show you them quickly. Uh, oh, they're right here. I have one sock uh, finished already with the heel. But I will talk some more about these in a future podcast episode. They are not blocked yet. Um, so yeah, this is the first one and I've just done the cuff of the second one. And I now need to start uh, the color work again. So yeah, this will be on hold for a bit. Uh, I will mainly focus on my test knit sock, I think. Um, but I have also cast on another sock uh, last week um, with some oh losing stitches here with some uh, hand dyed yarn by Ginger and Time I got at the Korea Fair. Um, this colorway um, it's stunning. And it's called uh, the um, Knitting Outside, uh, this colorway. And I thought it was perfect for the nicer weather. Um, as I probably will be able this afternoon to go and knit outside a, a bit. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to have these socks. Um, this is the uh, Hermione Everyday Sock Pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I've seen a lot of... Uh, 
YouTube uh, podcasters uh, need these socks lately. Um, like Chelsea from True Lane Knits and I also think um, Marlene from Marlene Knits uh, is making these or has made these. And yeah, it, it was on my list of the free sock patterns um, I did in February. Uh, it's another video, so if you haven't checked that out, uh, be sure to do that if you're interested. Um, so yeah, it's a free pattern and it's uh, really simple and textured. Uh, but I think this colorway is, is really perfect for it. Um, so yeah, I will do some knitting outside later this afternoon. And then tonight I'm going for a birthday dinner uh, with my family. Um, to celebrate my 25th birthday from yesterday. So yeah, uh, see you later. Hi there! I was just editing this video and I realized I didn't really film an outro. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's, it's really nice. I enjoyed the editing process as well and taking little videos um, throughout my week. Um, some crafting and as well as some uh, bit of cooking, uh, which I like doing as well. So yeah, if you like this kind of video, uh, be sure to give it a like, leave me a comment um, and tell me what you thought about it. Um, yeah, it would be really nice to have a, a chat and I hope to see you in my next video in a few weeks, um, which will be a regular podcast episode. So stay tuned for that. Bye.